Hello everyone. In this episode, I'd like to talk about uh, when we work in a team, Teams team, and we create channels. Each channel in the back end, there's a SharePoint document library, which actually uh, creates a folder for each channel. Uh, so on the left hand side, we see a, a team which is called demo team and we have a general a channel a QA help and test two. Um, on the back end SharePoint stores for each of these uh, folders each of these channels a folder so we have general help QA and test two but this document library also can be used for other things and you see sample one and test two are folders that were created here and are not through the automatic uh, creation of a team. Now, um, in future, Microsoft is planning also that if you rename a uh, name of a channel, the folder will be changed. Currently it's not there, but it's it's supposed to be come very soon. Uh, but I did some tests and uh, I wanted to show you what things you can do on a folder which is created automatically for a channel and in compared to a regular folder. So if I go to a regular folder and I click the three dots, I see it's possible to, to delete. Let's see if I go to a folder of uh, the teams, delete is not here. Okay, second thing is if I uh, try to move or copy, it's possible to move the folder in this uh, channel which is folder it's, there's no move and copy and the last thing is also renaming so on a regular folder i have a rename and i can change the name to test folder 111 and the folder is, is changed if i go and try to change uh, the folder of a channel it's not possible all of the rest is uh, possible, like sharing, copying, managing, downloading, shortcut to OneDrive, and uh, automation. And so um, this is what I wanted to show you. In the past, I know it was possible to delete. And what would happen is if the teams all of a sudden uh, could not find the folder, it would recreate it automatically. Now it prevents from doing it, and uh, I think it's a good thing. In general, I think if you want to store uh, documents, create, don't use the default document library in SharePoint, create a separate one, and uh, that way uh, you can work only in SharePoint, and you will not have, uh, it's it's not easy to, to know which folders are those that are, uh, by the user or uh, that are channel uh, folders. So this is what I wanted to show you and uh, hope you learned something. See you in the next episode. If you like my channel, subscribe. Have a good day. Bye-bye.